A student pilot from the Arizona Air National Guard's 152nd Fighter Squadron lost consciousness while flying his F-16 Fighting Falcon and faced an imminent collision. It's common for a novice pilot to be overburdened by the complexity of controls in modern aircraft. Combined with intense G-forces at high altitudes and speeds, it could lead to increased pressures that threaten the pilot's well-being. During a training practice in May of 2016, the National Guard pilot student made a high-speed maneuver and began nosediving into the ground. He was unconscious. Amidst alarming cries from his instructor, an innovative cutting-edge avoidance system kicked in and skillfully avoided a tragedy. Predicting Collision According to U.S. Air Force official statistics on F-16 pilot fatalities, 26% of the incidents are due to controlled flight into terrain. This happens when an aircraft under the pilot's complete control inadvertently crashes into the ground. After 30 years of thorough research, a team effort between Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and NASA developed the Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, or Auto GCAS. The system consists of complex collision avoidance and autonomous decision-making algorithms that use precise navigation, aircraft performance, and onboard digital data to determine if a ground collision is imminent. Auto GCAS is designed to prevent controlled flight into terrain mishaps by executing an automatic recovery procedure when the algorithm senses ground impact danger. The instant the system recognizes a sudden alteration in the aircraft's predicted travel trajectory, the Auto GCAS autopilot executes an automatic recovery. The maneuver consists of an immediate roll to upright and a nominal 5G pull until ground clearance is assured. The Auto GCIS technology was created to avoid deadly crashes and protect pilots from situations such as distractions, task saturation, forms of incapacitation, and unconsciousness. An Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcon was selected to flight test the program in 2009. The trial took place at the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards Air Force Base in California. Further testing with the 416th Flight Test Squadron's Fighting Falcons continued through 2013. Recover. The Auto GCAS technology saved a pilot's life on May 5, 2016, when a group of trainees from the Arizona Air National Guard's 152nd Fighter Squadron flew their F-16s over the southwestern United States. The footage shows how one of the student pilots succumbed to G-induced loss of consciousness without warning during a high-speed maneuver and began nosediving into the ground. Fainting due to gravitational force, also known as G-lock, occurs when excessive G-forces drain blood away from the brain, depriving it of enough oxygen. Quote, The next thing I remember is just waking up and hearing recover, the student pilot said. It happened so fast. Usually everyone has been pulling G's for a long time. Most people get tunnel vision that gradually comes in. That's what I always get. But on that day, I didn't get anything. After regaining consciousness and hearing the voice of his instructor, Major Luke O'Sullivan, the student opened his eyes and was confused for a split second, but soon realized that his jet was nearing the ground and acted swiftly. He recounted, quote, Everything just came to me at the same time. I immediately started to pull up. The jet's F-16 Auto GCAS had already kicked into gear. The aircraft performed a roll to upright trick after sensing collision danger. Right after the pilot regained consciousness, he realized that the automatic maneuver had already taken over. He then regained control of the aircraft and managed to recover, avoiding an impact that could have cost him his life. The Future of Aviation the Auto GCAS system is currently operating in more than 600 U.S. Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcons. Flight testing in other models, such as the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, began in 2018. In recognition of the revolutionary life-saving program, Lockheed Martin and the Air Force Research Laboratory received Aviation Week Laureate Awards in 2016 and 2019. After its official service introduction in 2013, the Auto GCAS has been credited with saving 10 pilots' lives, and it will continue to do so as it's implemented in more planes in the future. The avoidance technology is projected to save 34 aircraft, 25 pilots' lives, and $2.3 billion over the next two decades to the United States alone. According to Colonel Chris Keithley, 416th FLTS commander, quote, This means their families didn't lose a husband, father, son, or brother. It also means they're able to serve their country another day. It's a huge win, and I can't overstate how meaningful it is.